All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. My name is DJ Dizzy. What I want to share with you today is how to configure your MIDI studio and audio MIDI setup. Now, how we do this is I want you to go over to the corner where your magnifying glass is, click that, and type in audio MIDI. And if you see already, it's, starting, it's already starting to pop up audio MIDI with the keyboard next to it. Um, I can go ahead and click on that, or I can show you another way. Um, within Pro Tools, you go to the setup, and down at the bottom where it says MIDI, click on MIDI Studio. Um, what that does is it pops up, you look up top right here, a different screen that popped up. I'll go ahead and click on Window, and I go to Show MIDI Studio. Or what I can do is I can press Command 2, and that opens up my MIDI Studio. Now the parameters up top, you have this bar right here where you can control your icon size, how big and how small you want them. Uh, you also can, can change the configuration. Uh, you can add a new configuration or you can edit the previous configurations. I'm going to keep it default. Um, I can add a device. I can remove a device. I can also see the info about that device and rescan the device to reset the ports. Um, also, I can test the device to see if the ports are working. Um, help is self-explanatory. Um, let's go ahead and start and dive into it. Now, how we go ahead and do first is we're going to go ahead and click add device uh, that's going to create a new uh, MIDI device say if I have multiple MIDI devices this is what I'm going to do this is right now v49 is my main MIDI device this is going to act as my um, interface as in getting any other MIDI devices into my computer so what I want to do is I want to take this new MIDI and I want to get it into this interface and how I do that is I take the MIDI devices the new one um, I take its output and I click on uh, the triangle that's going out and it creates this rope. What I want to do is I want to bring this into my V49 port. And once I do that, if you go back over to this triangle, you see it says connected to V49. Now I am, I am connected uh, with my new device. I don't have any other devices connected right now, but that was just to show you that I can do that. I, if I don't want this device there, I can simply just click Make sure it's highlighted. Um, the yellow usually makes sure it means it's highlighted. And then click remove device. I don't want that no more. Um, say for instance, I wanted to just see some info about this um, MIDI device. I'll go ahead and click show info. And what that do is it'll pop up um, this box right here. And what I can do is I can now change the device name, find its manufacturer, and also find the model if it hasn't done that already. Now um, also, if you look over here, I have all this information down. If I click this triangle, it'll just bring them all up. Um, I can bring it back down. It'll just show me all the information. I can change the ports, whatever. Um, also, if you go over here, it says open icon browser. If you click on this image, I can now change all these all these symbols right here into whatever I like to. And if even if I had some other symbols located elsewhere, I can also use those too. But I'm going to go ahead and just stick with what I got right now is the keyboard. And um, after I'm done with that, I just go ahead and press apply and it'll apply the uh, settings to it. Now, if I go over here, like I said, if I click rescan, it'll just reset all my ports. Um, if I had changed anything as far as my ports. And then I have right here test setup. Now, it's, it's highlighted gray right now. If I click it, it turns blue. Now, if I click on my MIDI device, you see how this import right here is now blinking that just means that my signal is working so that this device right here is now working I'll click it again just to turn it off turn off the setup and um, that's it that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen I just wanted to go ahead and show you how to do this if you like my video go ahead and leave a comment in the, in the box um, also go ahead and uh, share and subscribe for more videos um, I look forward to catching you guys on the next video thank you for watching you guys have a great day